guys, my name is Imra and welcome to my very first YouTube video. Today we're going to be talking about my makeup kit essentials, so let's get started. The very first product that I want to talk about is primer. So for the longest time, I thought my makeup look was completely fine without a primer, and then I really started to research more into it and figure out which ones were good for what. And I realized that it helps my makeup look so much better for so much longer. So that's definitely why I think primers are essential. I am a little bit extra and I went from using zero primers to three primers every time I do my makeup. So I have three different ones to show you guys today, which should help you find at least one that you like. So the first one I'm going to be talking about is this Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer by First Aid Beauty. And I love this because on areas where I feel like I have the most dry patches and wherever I feel like I just need a boost of hydration, this is the primer that I go for. Areas that I feel like I have a lot of texture and a lot of acne and a lot of pores and I just want my face to look smoother in those areas, I reach for this Poreflexional Primer by Benefit. And I love it because it does exactly that. The next primer that I have is this Becca Backlight Priming Filter, and I use this in areas where I really, really want my skin to glow. I apply it to all the high points of my face, like my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, and creates a great base for my foundation so that I do have a dewy look, which is definitely one that I go for. The next product I'm going to be sharing with you guys is this Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Now I'm sure you guys have heard people rave about this again and again and again, but it really is just that great. It's a full coverage concealer and it's really easily blendable, which is definitely something that's hard to find in a concealer. And it's great for even my dry skin, so I love it. For foundation, I have three great choices for you guys. The very first one is this Hourglass Foundation. And I was really intrigued by it at first, but kind of skeptical to use it because it does come in this twisting up stick foundation and I just thought it was so weird. But it definitely is the best one for me. It is full coverage, but it still gives me that natural look that I'm going for. And it does give me a dewy look also, so it does make my skin glow. It's just an all around great foundation. Another one that I feel like is just the liquid version of this one is this one by Dior, and it's a Skin Forever Foundation in the shade 030, and I love it because it does exactly what this stick foundation does, but if you do like the traditional route of using a liquid foundation, then this is your best bet. On days where I'm just running errands or going to class, I don't necessarily want a high coverage foundation. So I reach for my NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer, and I use this in the shade Medium 1.5. And I love it so much because it does cover all my blemishes, but I don't feel like I've really caked my face with makeup. I have two powders to recommend to you guys. This first one is the original RCMA No Color Powder. The price point on this one is so amazing, and it does the same job as many high-end luxury products I've tried. One thing to keep in mind when using this product is you can experience flashback when being photographed. So on those days where you are going to be photographed, I would just use a little bit less of this. The other powder that I recommend for you guys if you've tried the RCMA No Color Powder and haven't had much luck with is the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I definitely love this, but it is definitely a product that I recommend for people who do have oilier skin since this powder can be a little bit drier. And it definitely has a higher price point. So if the no color powder works for you, then reach for that one. I apply powder wherever I feel like my makeup tends to settle in or crease. So that's my smile lines and everywhere that I apply my concealer, such as under my eyes. It wasn't hard at all picking out an eyeshadow palette to feature in this video. I chose the Jaclyn Hill palette. And if you know me at all, I rave about this palette all the time and I'm definitely obsessed with her. But this palette really is that great. If you're looking for something to do a night look, a day look, a glam look, a natural look, any look, you can reach for this palette. It has every shade you would need to have in a beginner's kit. And I really, really love it. It took me a long time to find just the right eyeliner. I started off using this Maybelline New York Eye Studio Gel Liner, and I really like it. 
I used this kind of like as a base to draw out where I wanted my wing liner to be since that's the one that I do the most often. And for darkness, I went over top of it with this liquid liner by L'Oreal. And that was kind of my duo for the perfect eyeliner look. Then I found this Inglot gel liner, which did the job of both that L'Oreal liquid liner and the Maybelline gel liner. So I really like this product and highly recommend it. It's definitely in the same pot-like structure as the Maybelline Eye Studio gel liner, but what I like about this is it kind of combines a liquid and gel formula. So you get the blackest black liner that glides on easily on your eye. So it's really easy to work with. Now when I talk about this mascara, it might come as a surprise to you guys because I haven't heard many people talk about it, but this is the Origins Mascara. I got this as a sample and I had it laying around so I just tried it, but it pleasantly surprised me. This applicator is fatter, so this mascara will volumize your lashes. If you're looking to lengthen your lashes, then I would go with one that's a little bit thinner than this. But since my lashes are already pretty long, this is exactly what I'm looking for. I went a long time without using bronzer in my makeup look, but then I realized just how much it amplifies it. It really provides dimension to your skin. I use this Too Faced Dark Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, and I really love it. Blush is great because it adds color to your face, and I love the Tarte Amazonian Clay line of blushes. So I have a mini version of this as well, and I can definitely do a video where I show all the mini and trial size versions, because sometimes you really don't need the full product. I have the one called Party, and I love it because it's great for an everyday natural look. Becca has the best formula for highlighters, and my favorite two are found in this Jaclyn Hill Limited Edition palette. Now, this palette is not sold anymore, but both of these highlighters can still both be found individually at Sephora. So this one is Champagne Pop, and this one is Prosecco Pop, and they do such a good job accentuating the high points of my face. Both of those highlighters definitely do provide a lot of glow, so if you're looking for something a little bit more subtle, I suggest the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlight. I love this one, and this is the best drugstore highlight I have found in a really long time. So if you want something with a little bit less glow, but still a beautiful sheen look on your face, I recommend this one. When I first heard about liquid lipsticks, I was so excited about the idea of them, but I really couldn't find the right formula, just because they were either too drying, or if they were comfortable on my lips, they just wouldn't last all day long. But then, a friend recommended the Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks to me, and I haven't put them down ever since. I literally don't reach for any other brand of liquid lipsticks. This shade is Monday's, and it's the one that I'm wearing right now. And for anyone that's a skin tone similar to mine, this is kind of like a your lip but better shade. For those of you with different skin tones, there's definitely a ton of other colors that would work amazing for you. So I highly suggest going on their website and checking that out. matte lip is great, I do love a glossy lip. And my favorite gloss is this Bare Minerals Gloss. I feel like it's a dupe for the Marc Jacobs Gloss, and it's definitely at a lower price point. It's so glossy, but not sticky, and it doesn't make my lips feel tacky, and it lasts a long time. So if you're looking for a gloss, I recommend this one, and this shade is Heartbreaker. The last product I'm going to be recommending to you guys today is MAC Fix Plus. Now, this is a setting spray, but it has three different uses for me. The first one is as a primer. So I apply this before I apply any of my other makeup, and it refreshes my face and increases the longevity of my makeup. I also use MAC Fix Plus to intensify my eyeshadow shimmers. All you have to do is apply a bit of it to your eyeshadow brush and then go into your eyeshadow shimmer and it really helps all of my eyeshadows to pop more. The last use I have for setting spray is just to apply it after my makeup is complete. It really helps all of my makeup to blend in with my skin and definitely provides a bit more glow. And those are all my makeup essentials. Before I end this video, I just want to give a quick shout out to all my friends and family who encouraged me so much to come out with this YouTube channel. Also, thank you guys so much for watching, and if you like this video, then like this video, and comment and subscribe down below, and leave me any suggestions for what you guys want to see next. Thank you!